You've already seen a few examples of 3D being used in HitFilm, and we wanted to clear up any confusion over what kind of 3D HitFilm is for. The main thing is that it's not designed for modelling 3D objects. For that kind of thing, you want to use something like Cinema 4D or 3DS Max. HitFilm is all about 3D compositing. In HitFilm, all of your layers can be positioned in three dimensions. Let's take a look at this using a very simple example. Here we have three pieces of text, which look like they're at different distances from the camera. In a traditional 2D compositor, you could create this illusion by using three different font sizes, with the far text being the smallest. In HitFilm you can do it for real because the text exists in the 3D world. As you can see here, the text is positioned at different distances from the camera. Having objects exist in 3D space opens up all kinds of opportunities. For example, you can turn on depth of field. You can now see that far and near are out of focus, while middle is still sharp. This happens automatically based on the virtual camera's position, aperture and focal distance, just like with a real camera. It's not just for flat layers like text, video and images though. All of HitFilm's 3D effects also appear in the same space. Here you can see a few basic particles inhabiting the same 3D space as the text. In most other 3D compositing programs, the particles would exist in a completely separate space to the other layers like the text, which makes it difficult or impossible to have them interact with each other. There's certainly nothing at HitFilm's price that can do this. Having everything in the same 3D space opens up all kinds of exciting options for visual effects. Check this out. This started off as a simple green screen shot, HitFilm Ultimate was used to remove the green screen and a particle simulation was added and animated. As you can see, the particles are moving behind and in front of the actor. To accomplish this in other software would be difficult or impossible, probably requiring lots of masking and splitting the particle effect into separate layers. You don't need to do any of that in HitFilm. If we switch to a different view, you can see that the video layer and the particles are genuinely interacting with the particles moving around the actor. There's no need to fake it in HitFilm. Although the video layer is evidently flat, when viewed from the camera's point of view at the front, the illusion is convincing. This is just one tiny example of some of HitFilm's 3D capabilities. We'll be looking at some of the other 3D features, such as lights and shadows, in a future video.